Okay, here it comes. Very, very interesting kind of OS. It is called Pixel 5 OS for the Mi 12 devices. If you have Redmi Note 9s, Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max, or Poco M2 Pro, all of these devices, users can install the speed, which is a Pixel 5 OS. If you want to compare with the Pixel experience and Pixel 5 OS, there are some differences there. This is actually a pure Pixel device OS, and that one with the lineage OS with some Pixel overlays, etc. So basically, this is actually real Pixel, a copy of Pixel. Pixel 5 device. It's based on Android version 11, the latest Android version 11. Of course, it's not Android version 12. Just wait for the Android 12. We might see this. This is almost actually same from Pixel device. So all the Pixel device features are already included and also no extra features. Nothing else. No status bar customizations, no gesture customization, etc. Comes with the latest July 2021 security patch, which is good, and comes with Rinka Plus kernel pre-installed, which means some good kind of things in battery backup, good performance, and yes, it's quite good. I have shared that community post there some time ago. If you saw that, the battery backup and the performance both are just great. In the terms of wallpaper section, it comes with all those live wallpapers from Pixel 5, and these Pixel wallpapers looks quite good. In the terms of Google camera, it comes with the Google camera pre-installed. This is the default camera which you get here is called a Gcam. And it's not from Gcam, Nikita Gcam or BSG Gcam or anything else. Let me show you with Gcam. It comes with it comes with the CT Gcam. So it's developer's own Google camera. So it looks quite good. Comes with, comes with very cool and interesting features which I haven't explored yet but I will try to explore it and I'll share with you the video for this Gcam very very soon but Gcam looks quite good in the terms of quality it was quite good too in the DRM info app if you go and check it out the L1 support that if your device has the support of net support for Netflix and Amazon Prime Video HD it comes with that L1 support is there and your device will be considered as Google Pixel 5 so you need to keep this thing in your mind and also of course one of the best thing is you get the Google Photos unlimited storage I'm using it it's actually quite good so one of the main reasons behind using this build is for the Google Photos unlimited storage of course we have Magisk module for that and talking about the Magisk the Magisk 23 is here on the latest Magisk version which we are using right now here is the Magisk 23 which is the latest one while making this video the safety net status is passing without having any issues if you use magisk on your device you need to hide that of course and if you don't use it by default the safety net status is still passed so that's very good that out of the box you have this so basically a proper pixel 5 os for your mutual device looks quite good and as i previously mentioned if you use magisk you need to hide that in the settings so like that move on to other things in the terms of battery backup at once it was not even turning given at single person for half an hour so that was quite impressive but after using for some time got approximately 80 percent plus brightness every time even tried 4g some time ago and for some time and a lot of things still the battery backup seems to be very very decent and i'm using it some time and no performance issues nothing else there are some cool things in the terms of bugs which i got here first of all the bug is adaptive connectivity also whenever you reboot to your device you will see adaptive connectivity four stops so this might be the bug you need to consider it before installing this thing on your device and talking about other things APN also has some issues for example in the terms of APN first of all you need to set the APN manually and also you need to write some other things I tried that you need to config this again and again so little bit disturbing but not a big issue some minor bugs are always there in any kind of os whatever you use on your device in the terms of other things let's just talk about pixel 5 features which you get here of course as i previously mentioned you will not see any kind of features not a status bar customizations nothing else battery percentage you can enable and proper pixel os basically the stock pixel os so better to try it if you don't want customizations and you want stability and battery backup but if you want customizations even though one or two customizations go for some other custom rooms but this one is quite good stable good battery backup good performance if you want to install this link is in the description everything i've already shown you i hope you like this this is all thanks for watching goodbye have a nice day over the edge Feel like I'm floating through the air